South of Soledad lay a path to the Salinas River. The path is covered with sycamores, willows, and other woods filled with animals. Here the path is hard as it had gotten this way from boys coming down and playing near the river, also while homeless men continue their journeys to find work during these hard times. Two men, one big and one small, wandered down the path after being dropped off by a bus four miles from their original goal. The small man stopped quick as the larger man continued until nearly bumping into the smaller man. The larger man ran to the river and quickly drank large amounts of water until scolded by the smaller man. Don't drink so much, lady. You're going to get sick. George, use the tricep. It's really good. Lenny looks up to George and tries to imitate him often. George spoke angry of the bus driver who disrespected them because they didn't have as much money as the other people on the bus did. What a hot day. And that bus driver said it was a short walk from where he dropped us. Four miles is far from short. There's no one, George. George was angered that he must repeat himself again. Lenny was very forgetful, and George often had to repeat himself. You're always forgetting, Lenny. Remember when we got work cards? I, I, I lost mine. No, I have it. I would never let you hold them. What's in your pocket? Lenny tried to resist the question. George is suspicious as to what is in Lenny's pocket. What's in your pocket? Nothing's in my pocket. Well, it's in your hand now. Are you hiding it? George, I honestly got nothing. George is used to Lenny pulling stunts like this, so George does not give up in insisting that Lenny will hand over what's in his pocket. After much delay, Lenny hands over the suspicious object. Give it to me. Lenny doesn't remember what happened in Weed, and George is scared to remind him in fear that he may do it again. Gone. Lenny was proud of the thought that he remembered that he got kicked out. They kicked us out. You got that right. Yeah, they did. Lenny tries to be like George. George wishes he didn't have Lenny's troubles, whereas Lenny really enjoys having George with him, and George secretly enjoys having Lenny with him, but also Lenny is much of a trouble because he has a mental retardation. Am I doing it like you? It's so difficult. You make my life hard. You ready to get that wood, Lenny? Lenny threw the twigs and leaves into a pile and kept getting more and more because he's a very hard worker. We're gonna eat these. Well, I would like to eat ketchup. We don't got that. I wish I was just by myself. Without... It became very dark out and the only thing that lit their night was fire. He pretended to be unaware of Lenny so close to him. Especially if you remember that good. I can remember. 
George's voice deepens as he tells the story of their future. You can remember this place, right? Yeah, I remember. Not to say a word, too. Good now. If you ever get in trouble, hide in this brush. The brush, okay. And wait till I come and get you. Can you remember that? But don't get in trouble, or else I won't let you catch those rabbits. I sure can remember. Good. Now let's go to sleep. Sure. What do you want? When we get rabbits, let's get colorful ones and furry ones, too. Sure thing. Now shut up and go to sleep. <laughs>